Before this video begins, I want to let you know that I've created a second channel called D-Pad Gameplay. Going forward, I'll be hosting the majority of my live streams over there, and later this week, I'll be playing through Splatoon's Hero Mode over there. Go subscribe if you want, now onto the video. While you're testing your gear over in the shooting range, take notice of the basketball hoop. If you chuck a splat bomb through the hoop, your inkling will cheer as if it had just murdered another squid kid. Over on Flounder Heights, here's something you might have missed. Near each team's spawn is a map just sitting on the wall. It'll display an accurate view of the map from a top-down perspective, updating whenever new ink hits the ground. You also might have noticed these stickers on the wall. They can be found scattered around most stages in the game. There's a pixelated blooper from the Super Mario Bros. series, an Octorok from the Legend of Zelda series, as well as this yellow thing here. Let me know in the comments if you know what it is. It's pretty impossible to go any length of time playing this game without learning about the Squid Sisters, Kali and Mari. Get it? Calamari? Anyways, when the sisters aren't busy hosting the Inkopolis news program, they can be found in the studio chatting with each other. If you use the first person view and wait for a while, they'll eventually turn and wave at the player. The Squid Sisters are also singers, and have performed the songs both in-game and in real life. Their song, Calamari Incantation, can be found in some odd places, like when the train arrives near the plaza. Real quick, let's head over to the multiplayer mode selection thing. When setting up a private battle, you have the option to input a password. What's important here is that each number has its own tone that plays when the cursor is moved to it. Here's a handy graph for you. On Sunken Scroll number 23, sheet music for the formerly mentioned song, Calamari Incantation you're probably seeing where this is going. With the right pattern and timing, you can play the opening to Calamari Incantation on the password entry screen. If you want to try it for yourself, here's the pattern. On the topic of the sunken scrolls, take a look at the bottom right. Each scroll has a small doodle in the corner, and by flipping through the scrolls quickly, you can see this neat little animation. Over in Piranha Pit, here's something interesting. Turn your sights to the open water and wait until there's one minute left. For just a moment, the great Zapfish will make an appearance. As you already know, the Zapfish play a large role in Splatoon's Hero Mode. If you complete a level where you already collected the Zapfish, you'll instead be holding a stuffed one. If you check this dumpster in Inkopolis Plaza, you'll find a Zapfish that someone has thrown away. Lastly, we have something on. After certain boss battles in Hero Mode, wait around and listen very carefully. There's a lot of strange noises that can be heard, though the meaning behind them is still unknown. When asked about the noises, co-director for Splatoon, Tsubasa Sakaguchi, said that it was the first time he'd heard of it. All he had to offer was his own theory on the noises. What do you guys think it is? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and as always, thanks to my patrons whose support makes these videos possible. If you'd like to support the channel as well, head over to patreon.com slash dpadgamer and check it out. If that's not an option for you, leaving a rating on the video, commenting below, and subscribing all help me out. Though, you don't actually have to do anything, I'm just providing some suggestions. Either way, have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next one.